Hey everybody, Liz LePage here, and I want to walk you guys through a really important new workflow that you're going to be using inside of On One Photo Raw. Now we've talked about this quite a bit, but I want to make sure that I reiterate the fact that this is a new raw processor. So this editing process, your new workflow, can actually replace what you used to do in potentially other editing programs. So we have access to a ton of of editing adjustments inside of the new develop. And I wanna walk you through kind of a basic look at some of the adjustments you can make here. So I've got my image open. You'll see down at the bottom of my screen, I have my film strip where I can take a look at all the other photos from this photo shoot. And on the right hand side, I'm already in develop. You'll see I've got my tone and color adjustments. These are the most simple adjustments we can make on an image, but they can really dramatically change what a photo looks like. So we're going to start here and then I'm going to jump into a couple of the other options that you have that are really, really useful. So on the right, we'll start just by increasing the exposure a little bit. This photo is a bit dark. We've got our contrast slider if we want to go in and add just basic contrast. Now the highlight and the shadow sliders are two of the most important and so incredibly useful. If the clouds in the top of my screen are a little too bright. I can darken them just a little bit. This is the Pacific Northwest after all, so we get a lot of very cloudy days, so I want to make sure that those still have a little bit of definition in there. You'll also see that the bottom half of my image is a little dark, so we're going to take the shadow slider and move that over to the right and brighten up some of those trees. Now instead of using just the overall contrast slider, I really like to use the white and black sliders to add contrast because I can be much more selective about how much contrast I want and where I want it in my image. So we can go ahead and brighten up those whites just a smidge, but then maybe darken the blacks a little bit more because we did lose some of the contrast with the highlight and the shadow sliders. So already we're looking a little bit better, but we've still got a lot more editing to do. Now underneath we have this awesome new slider called structure, and this is one of my new favorites. It's so useful, especially with images like this one. It adds contrast and detail to your image. It's very, very similar to what clarity used to be. And so it's really useful when you want to add intensity to an image without going overboard with that contrast slider. So we're going to go ahead and take our structure slider and move that over to the right and that crispness and detail is starting to stand out a little bit more. Now below we've got our color section. These are all basic adjustments that you might recognize. We've got our temperature slider so we could warm or cool our image just a little bit. I'm actually gonna cool it down a smidge because I like that cooler, almost teal tone. And then I'm gonna increase the saturation and the vibrance because I really want those colors to stand out a little bit more. Now, up at the top of the develop module on the right hand side, there's a button called show more. These are all of the other options that you have inside of develop. And what's awesome about this is I only am going to access the ones that I actually need. For this, I'm not going to need skin retouching. I don't really need split toning. I don't think I'm going to add a vignette. I don't think I'm going to add glow. So there's a ton of these that I'm not going to use. So I'm just going to go straight into the adjustments that I want. And we're going to start out by adjusting the color. Now, the great thing about color adjustment is it separates your image down into color channels and you can go through and you can edit them individually. So if we go in, there's a lot of green, cyan or teal and blue in this image. And those are going to be the three big ones that I want to edit. So let's start out with the green. We can go in and we have a ton of adjustments we can make, including the ability to do brightness, hue, saturation. So all you need to do is just click on a slider. We can make those greens a little bit more yellow or we can make them a little bit more blue. And I love those blue greens that stand out. They're so great looking. I want to increase the saturation of those greens, and I also can individually lighten and darken all these color channels. This is hands down my favorite. If you've ever watched any of my tutorials before, that is one of my favorite things to do on an image ever. So the develop module is incredibly powerful and all of these different options, you can individually edit what you need and then you don't have to look at the ones that you don't want. And because this is a raw processor, all of the edits that we're going to make on this image right now 
are completely changeable later. So I can jump back into this photo and I can edit it later. I can remove anything that I didn't like, add more things that I want. And the best part is I can also copy all of these settings and I can add them to another photo. So the options are endless here. And because of that raw processor, you have a lot more power behind your photos than you ever did before.